here at Stonecutters Ridge in Sydney's West. It's a bit of a soggy day, but I thought it's perfect for our next U Golf celebrity battle. I've got David Warner, of course, one of the biggest hitters in world cricket, but can he hit a mean spirited little ball around a golf paddock? Do you reckon? I reckon I can. Of course, it's a big, big, big uh, ashy summer northern hemisphere. But how will you deal with the pommy crowds, the Barmy Army? That's what we want to test today. Can you deal with the pommy sledging, Barmy Army? Barmy Army and the pommy weather. What's your handicap, mate? I'm burgling off 16 and I hear you're pretty much the same. No, I'm off 20. I've got an old lady's oh, handicap, oh, mate. Here we go. I'll go first. Oh, wow. High as well. I think I might get 12 for that. Straight over the members' stand. So, David, how long have you been playing golf? I've been playing golf since I was the age of 14. And uh, where do you normally play your golf? Normally play down at. Um, the Coast Golf Course in St Michael's. That's where you're from, isn't it? South Sydney? Yeah, I grew up in Matraville, um, and now I reside down in uh, Little Bay. Who are the big golfers uh, in the cricket team? Who do you play with when you're on tour? Um, well, when Ricky was playing, uh, Ricky, um, we've got uh, Mitchell Stark, the left arm fast quick. He hits a, a long ball. Um, Usman Khawaja. So how excited are you about getting over to England and playing in your first Ashes series? Yeah, I can't wait. As a kid growing up, that's the biggest um, biggest uh, stage that you can you can be on. Playing in the Ashes in England um, is, is, is a massive uh, thrill for myself, and to be in that team to, to go over there and you know try and get that earned back to Australia, um, it's it's an honour, and I can't wait. I think you've got the team to knock over the palms because I've got to say, we're looking pretty tight at the moment. I definitely think we've got the team. Um, England have got very good batsmen and very, very good bowlers at the moment and uh, now the conditions are going to favour them but we've got the, the right, um, right army to, to go over there and, and definitely try and um, regain the, the, that Ashes and I think the, the preparation that the boys have had so far is, you know, is, is, is unbelievable. So, now we're, we can't wait to get over there and hopefully it's a little bit hotter than what it normally is there. Now who in the English attack do you think has got the best chance of turning it off? Yeah, I think Jimmy Anderson and, and Graham Swan are the two danger men, I think. So four to play, you one up. One up as usual against the pumps. Tell you what, your shoes look pretty wet there. You could do with some Crocs. Oh, oh nice shot. It. Oh. Little, little fade. No, that's dead. Plugged, I think. Who would be your dream four ball at golf? Uh, definitely Tiger Woods um, and an Australian Adam Scott and uh, Bubba Watson just to see how far he actually hits the ball. And where I'd like to play would be Wolf Creek in uh, Nevada. Oh. Taking my advice, doesn't back his, uh, his wedges. Scottish golf. Links. Oh, you might as well have used your putter. What was that? What about the Barmy Army? Because I've got to say, David, they generally find a player's weakness and head for it. What would your weakness be? What are they going to pick up with you? Probably Twitter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think um, you know, they've got to try and make up a song. They like making up songs for individual players, so I'd love to see what they've got in store for me. Probably the Flintstones, I reckon. Yep. A little bit of Barney Rubble. <laughs> yabba dabba doo! And there's the Ashes. Oh. Back to Australia. Thanks, buddy. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. Hey, and good luck overseas. Thank you. All right, not too much. But you stay away from those Birmingham girls. <laughs> Fuck. They need, they've got no fringes here. Congratulations, David. You've uh, whopped my butt on the golf course. Of course, the Ashes heading back to Australia in this particular battle. But we've got to do something for charity now. Our friends at Sporting Bet have given us 
$1,000 to bet on the uh, US Open. All proceeds go to Jack Newton Junior Golf Foundation. Who are you going to put the money on? I think Tiger Woods has been playing some outstanding golf at the moment, so I'd, I'd be happy to put uh, the $1,000 on Tiger Woods. There you go. Tiger Woods to win the US Open. Good luck in England, mate. Thanks, buddy.